Yo guys, welcome back. So yung topic natin yun is uh, factoring perfect square trinomial. So ano ba yung perfect square trinomial? So kung naalala nyo nung uh, special products, pag nag square tayo ng binomial, so ginagawa lang natin is square the first term plus 2 times first term times the second term plus square the second term. So ito yung tinatawag natin na perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, result siya ng uh, pag nag square ka ng binomial. So, kung naka-minus naman siya, A minus B, uh, same lang pero minus na siya dito sa middle term. Okay? So, ngayon, kasi factoring tayo, ipa-factor naman natin itong perfect square trinomial into square of a binomial. So, erase na natin to. So, parang baliktad naman siya dito sa factory. So, so, yung perfect square trinomial is equal to uh, square of a binomial lang. Okay? Kung minus naman siya, minus yung sign ng middle term, minus naman tayo. A minus B naman. Okay? So, kung makikita nyo, inag lang natin yung square root ng first term and square root ng last term. Kasi naka-add siya. So, dito naman sa pangalawa, kasi minus yung sign ng middle term, sinabtrack naman natin yung square root ng first term and square root ng second term. Then, squared. So, gamitin natin itong formula na to sa pag-factor ng uh, perfect square trinomial. So, for example, number 1 natin, factor x squared plus 4x plus 4. So, bago tayo mag-factor gamit ang perfect square trinomial, i-check muna natin siya kung perfect square trinomial ba siya. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng trinomial, perfect square. Okay? So, paano yun? So, first step, check muna natin. Dapat yung first term and last term is a perfect square. So, first term natin, x squared. Perfect square siya kasi yung exponent niya divisible by 2. Then, yung 4. So, 4 is equal to 2 squared. So, perfect square siya. So, nandun yung mga list na mga common na perfect square numbers na gagamitin natin. So, para meron kayong guide. Then, na-check na natin. Perfect square yung first term. Perfect square yung last term. And then next, yung square root ng first term times the square root of the last term times 2 is equal sa middle term. Okay? So, check natin. Square root ng first term. So, square root ng x squared is x. So, pag naging square root tayo, divide ko lang natin yung exponent. Then, square root ng 4. That is 2. Kasi, 2 squared is equal to 4. Okay? Ganun lang mag-square root. And then, multiply daw natin to times 2. Dapat equal siya sa middle term, okay? Para masabi natin na perfect square trinomial siya. So, pag hindi siya equal, ibig sabihin, hindi siya perfect square trinomial. So, hindi natin pwede gamitin yung formula. So, kaya siya ni-check natin. So, square root ng first term times the square root of the second, last term times 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4 times x is 4x. So, equal ba siya? So, equal. So, ibig sabihin, perfect square trinomial siya. So, pwede natin gamitin yung formula sa pag-factor ng perfect square trinomial. So, ano do yun? First, kunin natin yung square root ng first term. So, that is x. Then, copy the sign of the middle term. Plus siya, so plus. The square root of the last term. So, square root ng 4 is 2. And then, huwag nyo kalimutan, square. Okay? So, na-factor na natin yung perfect square trinomial into ah, uh, is square ba binomial. And then, for number 2 natin, 16x squared minus 24x plus 9. So, first step, check muna natin kung perfect square trinomial ba siya. Bago natin i-factor. So, una, perfect square ba yung first term and the last term? So, ito. So, 16, perfect square siya, equal siya sa 4 squared. x squared, perfect square, kasi divisible ba ito yung exponent. Then, 9, perfect square ba? Yes, kasi 9 is equal to 3 squared. And then, kunin natin yung square root nila, multiply natin times 2, dapat equal siya sa middle term. So, kunin natin yung square root ng first term. So, square root ng 16 is 4. Kasi 4 squared is equal to 16. Square root ng x squared is x. Iba ito lang yung exponent. Then, square root ng last term. Square root ng 9 is 3. Then, multiply natin. 3 times 4x, that is... 12x times 2, 24x. So, equal sa sa middle term. Ibig sabihin, 
perfect square trinomial siya. So, pwede natin gamitin yung, so, gamitin natin yung formula. So, ano daw yun? Una, square root ng first term. So, that is 4x. Then, copy the sign of the middle term, minus the square root of the last term. So, square root ng name is 3. And then, square root. Okay? So, na-factor na natin siya. Yung perfect square root trinomial into square root of binomial. Then, uh, two more examples tayo. For number 3, m squared plus 12m plus 36. So, factor natin siya. First, i-check muna natin kung perfect square root trinomial ba siya. So, perfect square ba yung first term? Yes. Divisible ba ito yung exponent? 36, perfect square ba yung last term natin? So, equal siya sa 6 squared. So, perfect square. And then, yung square root ng first term, square root ng m squared, times square root ng middle, uh, square root ng last term, times 2, dapat equal siya dito sa middle term. So, square root ng m squared, that is m. Square root ng 36 is 6. Then, multiply natin, m times 6, that is uh, 6m, times 2, that is 12m. So, equal siya sa middle term. So, perfect square trinomial siya. So, gamitin natin yung formula ngayon. So, first, square root ng first term, that is m, then copy the sign of the middle term, plus square root of the last term. So, square root of 36 is 6. Then, squared. So, factor na natin. And for the last, number 4. 18h squared plus 12h plus 2. So, factor natin siya. So, check muna natin kung perfect square trinomial ba siya. So, perfect square ba yung first term natin? So, 18. So, hindi siya perfect square. Uh, then, yung last term, 2. Hindi rin perfect square. So, hindi siya perfect square trinomial. Hindi natin pwede gamitin yung formula. Pero, uh, meron siyang common factor. 2. Divisible by 2 silang lahat. So, factor out natin yan. So, 18 divided by 2, that is 9. So, 9h squared na lang. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, 6h. 12 divided by 2 is 1. So, now, na-factor na natin siya. So, itong trinomial na to, check natin. Baka perfect square trinomial siya. So, 9. 9h squared, first term, perfect square ba? Perfect square yung 9. Perfect square yung h squared. Kasi divisible by 2 yung exponent. Then yung 1, yes, divisible by 2. And then, check natin yung middle term. So, kunin natin yung square root ng first term, that is 9h squared. Square root ng 9 is 3, square root ng h squared is h. Square root ng last term, square root ng 1 is 1. Then, multiply natin, 3h times 1, that is 3h, times 2, 6h. So, equal siya sa middle term. So, therefore, perfect square trinomial tong uh, trinomial na to. So, pwede natin siyang i-factor gamit yung formula. Una, syempre si 2 muna. And then, yung factor nitong trinomial. So, ano yung pag-factor nito? First, square root ng first term. Square root ng first term is 3h. Copy the sign of the middle term. Then, square root of the last term. Square root of 1 is 1. Then, huwag kalimutan yung square. So, ito na yung factors ng ating polynomial. So, minsan, sa unang tingin, hindi siya perfect square trinomial, okay? So, tignan nyo lang, baka may pwedeng factor. And then, check nyo ulit yung trinomial. Baka perfect square siya. So, may mga ganito rin problem. So, yun na yun. Uh, please comment below kung nakatuloy yung video nito. Uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video.